A tornado flew around my room before you came. Excuse the mess I made of you, it doesn't rain. Something got up on you much like I was on my eyes. Don't shed tears, but what they want. Just keep breathing and breathing and breathing and breathing. All I know is to thank you. Touch me, taste me, fuck me, squeeze me. That here another fuck you and the rest of your crew. Cause I can take your nigga and I keep mine too. But I don't have one, so what the fuck am I talking about? How no, seriously, I don't have one. Girl, nah. hey, right now, you are now tuned in. Girl, nah. Pin Crispy, Girl, nah. I'm still going there. Girl, nah. Who What's up, everybody? It's your boy Therese Bible, and I'm back with another video for you guys. And today's video is going to be once again another story time. Y'all already know. I don't talk about this. Damn, I ain't making me repeat myself. I'm just playing. But no, obviously, guys, it's going to be another story time because we're doing September. That dude was fine as fuck. And you know he's fine because I'm blind as fuck. So if I saw that he was fine, he was fine. So, anyways, we're going to do um, September story time. Story time, whatever you want to call it. Basically, where I'm going to be telling story times all month long. I'm just been doing really good. I've been really messy, and you guys have been really enjoying it. As y'all can tell by the title below, um, this story is going to be when I dated two DL brothers. Before I can judge me, bitch, they wasn't real brothers. They were actually cousins, but they lived together, and they was raised as brothers. That's why I titled it this. This story time is going to take place my junior year of high school. Um, if y'all know, I transferred between high school a whole bunch of times, but this story time is going to be strictly about junior year, because junior year, I actually stay at um fpc and palm coast the entire time so it was this boy we're gonna name him zachary so i met zachary um because he was in my first period um and he was he came like a little late like he didn't come until like the second or like third week of school or whatever but like, i remember when he walked in and everyone was talking about him before like when he first got there they was like oh zachary's coming here because people had already knew him because Paco is real small. It's only two high schools, so I guess he went to the other high school and they transferred to ours. So everyone had already knew him, but I didn't know who he was. When I first saw him, I was just like, this is what the hype is about. I, it was, he wasn't giving me. He was giving me very much, giving me very much, I don't know. It just wasn't giving, bitch. It wasn't, it wasn't giving what I needed to give. So therefore, I paid him no dust. I paid him no dust. He was in my class. He was cool, whatever. I paid him no dust. I didn't care for him. Yada, yada, boom, boom, boom. So yeah, everybody was like, oh my God, he's bad, da, da, da. he's so fine, yeah, yeah, this and third. I didn't care, not even a little bit. And so one day, we was in active class and we became very cool and it was me, and it was like, we had this little group. And one day he showed us, no, he didn't show us. One of my friends was like, girl, you saw that picture that Zachary posted on Twitter last night? And I was like, no, so she showed me the picture. So on the picture, he had on shirt on, he had on boxers. So his body was very nice and his was very long. It was very long. I don't think you heard me, bitch. It was very long. And I was like, <laughs> oh, that's why the girl's like you. Oh, because you have a big peanut water. You have a big peanut water, girl. It was a very large girl. And I was like, wow. Why? <laughs> kind of getting excited. <sighs> you know, sweating. Yeah, girl, I I might have to <laughs> hop on that. Period. That's just, I might have to hop on this train that all these other bitches on because I need him to run a train on me. Period. with him and his peanut worker. Let's go. So that's when I kind of felt like I was kind of like interested in him, whatever. And people did say he was low key gay, like they heard he was gay. I never, I never knew him before that, so I don't know where they got those rumors from. But you know, that was the tea around the town, whatever. Da, da, da. So um, as him and I started becoming closer, you know, we started flirting or whatever. And you know, I'm very much like. Like, I don't like really making the first move. I need you to make the first move, especially when it comes to DL boys, because and you know for a fact that I'm gay. I don't know for a fact that you're gay. So I'm not going to make the first move. You're going to make the first move. And if you don't make the first move, then, bitch, we're just never going to talk. I mean, like, if, you, if I'm brave, if I'm drunk, and it's 2 o'clock in the morning, I might just slide in your DM and be like, fuck it. But well, 9 times out of 10, I'm going to just let you. You got to give me a sign before I give you a couple signs, period. So I remember one particular day, we were um, in acting class, and um, we they put us in different groups, and we had to perform this like little skit. So we all was performing in different parts of the room, and then some of us was in the hallway because of the type of class it was in. It was in this like section by itself, so we were able to be in the hallway, or whatever. And I remember um, I forgot how it happened, but like me and him was like 
going back and forth, just playing or whatever. And bitch, when I tell you, but she grabbed me and he pinned me against that wall, bitch. And he put his on me. And he, I was like, get off me. Get, you know how you, <laughs> get off me. Oh my fucking God, stop. Let me go. You play too much. That's what I very much was doing. But I really wanted him to, you know, just bend me over. You know? Anywho, Daniel. And then I was, like, I was like, let me go. He's like, you don't want me to get off you, do you? And I was like, oh, that was the sign. Oh, you threw the sign. Bet. Let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> that had happened, and ba that basically like let me know like what I wanted. I was going to get as I usually do because I'm just that bitch, you know. I'm not even gonna front. Like I'm not gonna. I need to. No, I'm really just that girl, and that's just what it is. Period. I that's. I feel like that's why um, I'm so confident now. Like just just the, if we go in a story just for a little bit, I feel like that's why I'm just so confident now. Just because I used to get hella deal niggas, hella, hella. Mainly because I, I was only like three gay people in my school, so every D.O. nigga wanted me because I was the baddest bitch there. So like, I don't, D.O. niggas don't excite me no more. Like, I'm just not gonna just want to talk to you because you're D.L. Like, I'm used to getting these niggas. It's nothing new. And you know, me and him was communicating back and forth. Da da da, this time and third, yada yada ye, yada yada you. Um, one particular day, um, he was home alone, um, just for a very short amount of time. And I made my way there, girl. And let's just say, we need to make it to this bedroom. Fuck on the stairs. Anywho, whatever. So, something had happened. I don't re really remember what exactly had happened. But something had happened to where we stopped talking. Now, one thing about him is he has a very bad temper. Like, he, they, he gets very upset very easily. And I'm just not that girl. Like, bitch... I'm not here for your attitude, because I got an attitude too. Well, I, no, he didn't have an attitude, he had a temper. That's the difference. I had an attitude, and he had a temper. And attitude and temper don't get along, sis. And he, I was not going to be one of those. And he talked to a lot of girls, and a lot of the girls that he talked to, I know this was very, like, very submissive and very quiet girls, you know, very much giving him, do what I say. I don't want to make him mad. Tease, not nah, bitch. Be mad, ho. Be mad. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Did it good, but I don't give a fuck. Period. So, yeah. So, he really wasn't fucking with me for that. He, he he did not like the way he wasn't able to control me. So, him and I stopped talking. When him and I started talking, he decided to be petty because he knew I wasn't the type to expose. So, he starts trying to talk to my best friend. Like, he started talking to all my friends. Like, he would start talking to people that he knew I was cool with. He really fucked up when he started talking to my best friend, though. Because not only did you fuck up because you talked to my best friend. Because for one, bitch, I don't put her on G. And for two, she was a hoe herself. So, bitch, she only gonna talk to you for a week. And she talked to him for a week, and it was that. And it didn't work, and he was mad. He hated both of us for the rest of the school year. And that was just that. Now, let's get to his brother. Okay. So, boom. So, there was this particular boy um, that went to a different school. And he went to the same school that my boy best friend went to. Not the best friend I was just talking about, because that was a girl. My boy best friend. I talked about him, Trevor. I talked about him in one of my other story times. So, Trevor came home one day and was like, bitch, it's this fine-ass boy. His name, we're gonna name him Johnson. So, is this for, is this for, and that's not his real name. Because there's somebody in Palm Coast named Johnson, and I know when y'all see this, it's not him. I just need a fucking name that started with a J, so calm down. Anywho, Daniel. So, yeah. So, he was like, is this boy named Johnson? He fine as fuck. But the real Johnson is fine. Anywho, is this boy named Johnson? He fine as fuck. Yada, yada, you, bitch, I want him. Da, 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 da. And I was like, girl, we'll get him. But I don't think he never showed me who the boy was because he didn't know, like, his Instagram name. So, fast forward, the boy, Johnson, slid into my DM and was trying to talk to me. And at first, I was just like, I'm not talking to you because you're the boy that my boy best friend Trevor wanted. But then, bitch, I found out that Johnson and Zachary, that name him Zachary in the story? I hope so. Johnson and Zachary was cousins. Not only was they cousins, bitch, but they lived in the same house. Bitch, this is what I live for. This is what I, this is a whole goal. Have you, like, okay, so my fellow hoes, you know how to... My fellow hoes, y'all know it's nothing better than getting revenge on a nigga 
when he tried to play you like you a basic ass bitch. I'm not a basic ass bitch. I am a hoe. And a hoe will do what a hoe has to do. And bitch, I did what I had to do. Because one thing about us hoes, we're going to use our wholeness to get. Take advantage. We're going to use it, bitch. Period. That's just what the fuck it is. So when I found that out, I was like, oh, I'm definitely for to communicate with him. Like, I'm for to communicate with him to be petty with you. But that's not where the story time going, where y'all think it's going to go, because it's actually not going the way I think it's going to go. So somehow, no, okay, I'm not going to even say somehow. So basically, I didn't, even though I, I did not fucking like Zachary, and I felt like me talking to um, Johnson was going to get back at him because I knew he was going to be pissed, I didn't do it because one, Trevor liked the Johnson, and I felt like, you know, even though Trevor didn't slide in, I mean, Johnson didn't slide in Trevor's messages, Tre Johnson slid in mine. I still feel like if, if your bitch tell you they spot a dude on Instagram or they spot a dude on whatever, and like, well, I want to fuck with him, he off limits, period. Even if he wants you and he don't want your period. Period. So I basically, plus, and then another thing is, I still like Johnson, like, as a person, like, me and him got real cool. So, anyway, damn. I was like, I, Johnson, I think you should talk to Trevor. And he was like, who's Trevor? And I showed him Trevor. And, you know, they started doing their thing, girl. They started doing their thing. And um, it, it's so weird because me and Johnson actually started being really, really cool. We actually started being cool, even cool, when him and Trevor stopped talking. And honestly, to this day, Johnson is one of my best friends. Like, like literally, He's my best friend. And yeah, that's really the end of the story time. I know y'all thought I was gonna tell you I had a threesome with two brothers, but I didn't, bitch. Stop judging hoes. I never really, I wouldn't say that I got revenge on Zachary. Um, there's no point in getting revenge on a bitch because when you just win in a life, period. And that's just that. We're honestly all cool. Everyone's good. Like, everyone's Gucci. Like, Johnson's my best bitch. Um, Trevor's my best bitch. And that's just that. So yeah, that was the story time. When I used to talk to two people that was related. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching once again another one of my videos. The love and support means everything. Honestly, one of you guys are amazing for watching my video and I really do appreciate all the love and the support. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Right now, you are now tuned in. Pin Crispy. I'm still going there. Who?